Hey guys, a while ago I mentioned that I am working on a project, and that is basically an e-commerce website loaded with AI. While building it, I ran into a classic issue. In e-commerce, placing an order isn't just one action. It triggers multiple background tasks, sending confirmation emails, verifying payments, generating invoices, and more. My first idea was to handle everything manually, but that meant building a separate job system, setting up infra, honestly, a headache. After some research, I found Ingest. It simplified my work, so I thought, why not share it in a video? So here's the demo Flask app. At first glance, it looks like a normal Flask app, but I've integrated Ingest to handle background tasks. I start by creating an Ingest client with an app ID. Since we're in development mode, I set is production to false. Next, I define three background tasks. They're just placeholders for now. The first function sends a confirmation email, the second verifies the payment, and the last one generates the invoice. Normally, I would put these inside one main function called order processing. This function is linked to the order slash placed event. That means, as soon as this event is sent, the function kicks in automatically. Here, we've used ingest steps. Each step runs independently and retries if it fails. So I don't have to write my own retry logic. Then, I added a home route to render the landing page and an order route to handle orders. Whenever a user places an order, this route sends the order slash placed event to ingest with the order data. That's what triggers the background tasks. Finally, I use ingest flask serve to run everything. I just pass the flask app instance, the ingest client, and the function, and ingest takes care of the rest. The coolest part, the user doesn't have to wait around. Everything happens in the background. Wait, let me show you. I ran the flask app and here's the interface I got. We have a button here to place an order. Now, when I place an order, hold on. First, I need to start Ingest's development server. For that, Node.js must already be installed on your system. Now, I need to run this command in the terminal. What this basically does is, it downloads the latest version of the Ingest CLI. Then, this URL here is our Flask app's Ingest endpoint, and the Node discovery flag makes sure Ingest doesn't automatically try to search our app. Once I run this command, it gives me multiple URLs, and clicking on any of these starts the dev server. Here, we can see our app. On the left-hand side, you can access functions and apps. You can also see currently running functions as well as previously executed ones. In our case, we only have one function. And yes, we could invoke it directly from here by passing proper data. But what we actually want is, whenever the order is placed, the function should automatically run. To make that happen, we've simply used a bit of JavaScript. So as soon as the button is triggered, the ingest function starts running. See? These steps are now executing one by one. Each step is an independent task, and they keep running until everything is complete. Meanwhile, the user can close the tab or do other things. Let me show you one more thing. Just a second. I'll refresh the Flask app, open the Inspect tool, and go to the Network tab. Now watch. When I place an order, notice how quickly the request finishes. But in the background, Ingest is still processing everything. This solved my problem really well. And honestly, Ingest can do a lot more to reduce production load. I'll drop the link in the description, so definitely check it out. Oh, and one more thing. Notice in this code section I've used step.run, but there are other methods too, each for different types of tasks. So yeah, that's it. Feel free to explore, and I'll see you in the next video.